what's up? You're watching the Steve Talks Real Estate Show, and this is episode six. Hey, what's up? I'm your host, Steve Panate, realtor here in the Phoenix metropolitan area. Now, today I want to address a question I get asked a lot and it's how much money do I need up front when I am ready to buy my house? So that question could involve a lot of things uh, uh, and it can be a bit complex because you could encounter a lot of costs, for example, repairs to the house you want, you know, things like that and so on. But today I want to talk about five things that you can encounter and you will encounter in the process of buying your house. Number one is obviously your down payments, you know, so according to what type of loan you are getting and the purchase price of the house, there's a percentage you are going to need when purchasing your house. That, that will run into the thousands, so make sure you and your loan officer are in contact uh, in regards to that expense. If you haven't watched episode five yet, go back, visit my website, visit my YouTube channel, and check out that episode. I talked a little bit about qualifying for a home loan on that episode. Number two, once you are in contract to buying your house, the first thing you are going to do is have it inspected. You are going to hire a professional inspector to go out and inspect the house you want to buy. That cost could range from 200 bucks up to 500, 600 dollars, depends on the size of the house and the inspection company you hire. There are many qualified inspectors all across the Phoenix area. We will talk more on inspections in a future episode. Number three is the appraisal. Once you are into contract, the inspection is done, you are moving forward in the process of buying your house, the bank is going to require a appraisal on the house, which is something that you as the buyer, you will have to pay for. Therefore, that cost could also vary from 400 bucks and up. Uh, uh, talk with your loan officer in regards to that he or she will be able to give you more detail in regards to the appraisal and the cost of the appraisal of the house you are buying. Number no, no, four now, huh? Okay. What's four? I, uh, I said five things, but I, I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. All right. All right, all right. Number four is closing costs. So closing costs can be negotiated in the contracts uh, um, uh, with the seller that you are buying the home from. Therefore, closing costs can vary depending on what you and the seller have negotiated. It could be that you might have to come in with a certain, with a certain percentage of the purchase price of the house. Therefore, closing costs can cost you up to 3% of the purchase price. But once again, talk with your loan officer on what the fees are uh, um, in regards to closing costs on the loan you are getting. Number five, repairs to the house. It could be that the house might need some repairs the seller is not willing to do. Therefore, those repairs might lie on you to make it happen. So always count these little costs in when buying a home. It could be that you might want your house painted or your carpets. Um, deep clean, you know, all these costs uh, you could encounter in the process of purchasing your house. Well, that wraps up episode six of the Steve Talks Real Estate Show. I hope this information uh, brought value to your real estate journey. Remember, you can email me your questions at the email down below. You can text me, call me, Facebook me, tweet me, do what you gotta do, get your question to me, and I will do my best to keep answering them. We'll see you next time. Hey, what's up? You're watching the Steve Talk Real Estate Show and this is episode six. six. A six or six? Six.
six.